get so mad, there's no control in me My thoughts get so bad, I'm like Oh God, here goes I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go So just stay tuned for the rest of the show Here I am growing up my entire life Feeling completely different and thinking Well, if I do X, Y, Z, maybe I can, I can change And knowing this is not that's not going to happen. And then I finally got older and realized, and I, I was at a point, um, I don't mention this in my story that we've referenced, but I've also lost 180 pounds on this journey as well. Um, and that was, and I look at that as being more mental uh, than anything else. It was, it was being in a state of depression and honestly in a very, very dark place where I just, I needed to change in my life. And I was, I felt bogged down because I knew I wasn't being mean. So I kind of like formulated this path in my mind saying, okay, lose X amount of weight and then, you know, see what gender affirming care is available. And so I, I did that and I kept on losing more and more. And I got to a point where like, I feel comfortable being myself while transitioning and getting to that point of like, okay, like I'm still not at my goal weight, but I'm, I'm content. I'm happy with myself. I love myself. And I was talking to a friend of mine and it's like, I'm not, I've not changed much in my diet and in my exercise, but like, I've not been on the scale in about three weeks to almost a month, just because I don't need to see that number. I feel such a different validation in who I am as a person and how I appear that, you know, I, I, I don't need to judge my self-worth on that number dropping. I can look in the mirror and be happy with myself. Do you know what, what's overwhelming? I'm sorry to just interrupt you. You're there, fine. But you're like an advert for freedom. <laughs> you're literally you know, you're exuding freedom and this sense of liberation that you are yeah. able to live your authentic self and how many people are struggling with that on on various levels not necessarily in 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 you know in the sense of gender but in so yeah. many ways where people are pretending to be something for somebody else or to try and fit in it's exhausting i, I can and depressing. completely i completely agree with you a hundred percent um I, I believe in personal freedom and personal liberties, and you can take ownership of your own life and you can be happy and you can set yourself. And like you said earlier, it's not about gender identity or expression or anything of that. It could be any element of your life that you're unhappy with. You can change. It may not be as fast as you want it to be, but you can start taking steps in the right direction to be able to do that. And that's what I've discovered in myself. And I, I found a happiness. I'm not saying things are perfect by any stretch. I still deal, no. still deal with a multitude of issues, but like I, I'm living through this tr true authenticity and this true freedom. Like I, I'm myself. And honestly, when, as a trans person, Whenever I discovered that and being authentic and true to myself, I didn't feel the need to correct everyone when it came to being misgendered or misidentified or, or having to default on that position uh, when things weren't just perfect. And like, there's oftentimes, like I still even, you know, to this day will get misgendered or, I mean, I'm, I'm tall girl, I'm six, two. So like, I, it's <laughs> like, whoa, that is a tall, tall person. Um, but like, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't respond out of like anger or just like, oh, this, I, I, you know, this person needs to know that I'm, uh, she heard and, you know, my entire life story, like I think a lot of people in, in the trans community will try to do. I, I will say at times, yes, I will correct. Like, no, actually it's, it's Jessica and I use she, her pronouns. And then sometimes just kind of smile and move on. Cause it's, yeah. it's not worth the conversation. Nice. Um, and it, it, but it comes, yeah, it comes from a place of just, just true self-acceptance. And I think, and I was, I was mentoring, um, uh, and I think maybe mentor may be too strong of a word, but I, I'm working with a trans person uh, who's in the middle of their transition, similar story and background, but they're on, they're on steps one, you know, step one to um, 
And I was like, hey, learn to love yourself where you're at right now. And if you can do that, this will make your journey a lot easier. And it, it, that wasn't my case. Um, it took me quite a while to be able to love myself, but I, I learned that, okay, if I can show that I'm making progress and, and becoming myself, it's gonna be a lot smoother. So just touching on something you said there about picking your battles and, and hearing things and letting some things go, what sort of things would irritate you or, or what what because you you just seem sure. so relaxed with yourself which is amazing so what, what would what is it that you see whether it's in your circle or in media or you yeah. know that, that would that ups, that would upset you yeah that's a really good question um and i i think it comes down to when people are doing things out of willful ignorance or stupidity to get a rise out of someone. Yeah. That's when I have a problem and that's when I will absolutely stand up. Or if it's in a if it's in an environment where it just needs to be addressed. Um, you know, I, I was at an event and, you know, and there's ways to do things. I, I think a lot of time people don't realize that they can do things out of finesse and do things out of just a kindness and a, and a kind spirit. Um, I had a friend of mine and it just was a total slip on their part. Like they weren't like, but a few times it used he, him pronouns. And as I pulled them aside, just like, Hey, uh, just want to let you know, I use she, her, you know, since I've came out and I would ask that you would please use that. Or just, if that's too much for you, just use Jessica. Um, yeah. and so, and they apologized like, Oh my gosh, didn't even realize that that's what what was going on, you know, I, I just, you know, was didn't even like click with them. But it's, you know, doing things out of kindness. And there's situations where that's absolutely needed. But there's, there's people um, that like I stated earlier, I, I've had to have really tough conversations with and people I've known for years, who sometimes think that they can take a liberty because they knew me before I transition, and they could use, you know, you know, I think there's a lot of time where there's just not education on anyone's part, um, especially those people who this is kind of new to them, you know, that older, older generation within our industry. Yeah. And, um, you know, there was someone I, I, I absolutely had to have that, that firm conversation, just say, Hey, you, you, you can't, you can't be saying that you can't be doing that. Um, and I was like, I'm, I'm not taking this. And I told him, I was like, I'm not taking this any, anywhere further than right here, just a conversation between you and me. Um, cause I believe you can do better. And I know you want to treat people with respect, just like I'm treating you with respect. So. That's such a good way to handle it actually, because too many people, I think shy away, they'll go home and cry about it. Oh, I've been there. It <laughs> and they'll, you know, because they won't, but you, you yeah. know, finding your words is just, it's empowering, but it's so hard to do. It's, it's yeah. not as easy as it sounds. No. And, and I, I learn I've learned to try to measure everything that I say um, and, and try not to allow anyone to get a rise out of me. And, um, I, I truly want to be the rep best representation of myself, the company I work <laughs> for, you know, my, my, you know, other trans, you know, friends in the industry and my community and just be someone that's like, okay, let's handle this correctly. Let's handle this, you know, as best as we possibly can. And in terms of, um, acceptance yeah you so you, you shared that you were scared and you were you were genuinely worried about um, yeah. reactions what was your best case scenario what did you think was going to be did you imagine it was going to be as accepting I think honestly, in the best case scenario in my mind, because I'm I'm an optimist, you know, um, it, it 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 probably was, you know, 
around this. Like I thought, okay, this is just not going to matter to some people, to others. They're going to be kind, accepting, and everything's going to be okay. Um, but I will say the worst case scenario was that um, I would have to leave the industry. Um, not that there would be, you know, a mob, you know, with, with pitchforks and, and lanterns outside my building or anything like that. But, you know, maybe I wouldn't be accepted and that would make it extremely difficult to do my job or for me, you know, not to be in a position to where I felt like I could advance or actually have a legitimate career within our industry. And in my mind, you know, I, I had had, you know, had conversations with recruiters outside of our industry, you know, like, okay, if this goes south, you know, I guess I could always work in high tech or something like that, or do sales for, you know, um, a software company or something like that, you know, a little bit more open and, and accepting than what I thought pro AV would be. And uh, I'm so, so happy that that wasn't the case. Um, yeah. Um... Because really to leave this to industry, to leave yeah. friends that I've made, um, that was not really not for these reasons. Not for these yeah. reasons. If it, you know, I think when choice is taken away from somebody, um, exactly that that's the bit that stings because you know that why should you? Why should you even have to think about that, right? You know, yeah. that feeling of, you know, I think as human beings, we all want to be accepted and we all want to be liked and we don't want to be disliked. So that's that's just at the heart of who we are. And um, it's just the lowest feeling when, when, you, when you pick up that somebody yeah. actually thinks lesser of you. Yeah. For, without you having done anything, just for existing. I, and I, I, I know what that feels like. Um, I've, I've lost, you know, personal friends I went to college with, um, family members, you know, people like that, that, um, will no longer speak to me and, you know, will ignore phone calls and ignore text messages and will never respond on any of my social media platforms. Cause if they respond, then it validates in their mind. And I was like, no, and I, I, I've, I've actually created posts and sent posts out saying, you know, my personal social, you can disagree with my lifestyle and we can still be friends. Um, You're and we could still, yeah, exactly. You're imposing what's right for you on anybody else. That that's the sad part of it all is, um, you know, there's, there's so much misunderstanding and I'm not, yeah. I'm not, at all suggesting that I, I'm any kind of expert on it. But, I, but one thing I can say is kindness, and you you used that word before as well, kindness to, towards another human being, it makes you feel good. It yeah. makes you feel a lot better than when you're being mean about someone. Yeah. My goal, honestly, at, at any trade show, any event, wherever, is that if someone's dealing with something and they need someone to talk to that I am a safe place, regardless of what that conversation is. Um, I think that's, that's, that's what I would love to have, you know, happen in, in, you know, in our, in our world is that people feel that I'm, I'm safe and that I'm someone that they can have a conversation with that they may be scared to have it with other people. Um, and I may not know, uh, you know, guaranteed not to know all the answers, but I can listen, you know, yeah. I can, I can, I can be there. Yeah. Um, I can give whatever counsel I can, but Hey, you know, you're not in this alone. And that's, that's what I want people to feel when they're around me that, you know, Hey, I got a friend and, and Jessica. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit.